Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so very much for coming out here. Uh, we are Stone Age Water Blast Tools. My name is Frank Romito. Um, I have a Hydro Blast crew with me here today. I have our lead field specialist, Brian King, as a nozzle operator. I have our lead Sentinel technology engineer, Dan Zabo, as a nozzle operator. And we have our regional solutions manager for the Southeast US, Mr. Sean Baker, as our pump operator. I will be filling the role as a cutoff man. And the reason why I'm identifying these roles and responsibilities here is because Stone Age is a proud third party WJTA field verification slash verified trainer course provider. So if you'll notice, our site is assembled as a VTS or a verified training site that you might see amongst some of the contractors in the group, some of the OEMs in the group. So what we have set up here is a compliant site in the same sense and the same roles and the same signaling methods that we would normally use in class that naturally is meant to translate into the field for a safe work environment. So that's how we're set up. I'd like to thank NLV for the use of their 2305 pump here. Um, I'd like to thank Spearstar Limited for being our high pressure thermoplastic hose supplier. And I'd also like to thank the association and all of you guys. So we appreciate you being out here. <clears throat> So we're gonna show you two things today. We have our Sentinel family of technology. Sentinel refers to embedded software that we're going to apply and configure amongst different styles of positioning equipment that runs one, two, or three lances. There's differences within the configurations that we'll talk to in terms of the application. So the first one, we're going to run our triple lance tractor, uh, our ABX S3L, using three lances. And if you can, we'd like you to take a look at the monitor over there on my right. What you're going to see right there focuses on user interface. A lot of time and effort's been spent in really learning what's useful for an operator in the field, learning what data needs to be reported, and learning what data can wait and what data the nozzle operator needs in real time. So if you could view that screen, you're gonna have eyes as a POV of Dan. You'll see exactly what Dan's looking down on his controller at as he begins to configure this setup. So what you see is an XY frame. We're moving linearly across rows and dropping to another, okay? What Dan's gonna start doing here with the Sentinel technology and our operating system 2.0 version of embedded software, Dan's gonna go ahead, and he's done a couple things up to this point, he's gonna go ahead and start teaching the machine the pitch and pattern. So on that bottom half of this exchanger here, you'll see a rotated triangular tube pitch, and Dan's gonna go ahead in learning mode and go ahead and start to teach the machine what he has there. Go ahead, Dan. So Dan's gonna be driving around a little bit. All right, so triangulating movements based off of encoders that know where we're at. It's gonna triangulate those values and make an accurate pitch, center to center, tube to tube, and it's gonna learn how to index those. So that's how quick it went. Dan's already good on that point. So now Dan's gonna go ahead and he's going to identify our boundaries within this sheet. So we're only running the bottom half but if you'll notice, he's going to contour the sheet and identify the boundaries so the machine knows where to populate tubes within the middle and where each row terminates. So while Dan's doing that, I'd like to let you know that there's way too many features that we can talk about out here with our time together. So if you'll identify in our crowd, we have our regional sales staff that's going to be handing these out. These are reminders for a much more personalized experience to see the Sentinel technology with Dan in our booth, number 407 inside 
after the show out here today and into tomorrow. Once Dan gets finished there, we're going to look at three things, okay? We're going to look at something called auto-move, auto-feed, and those two elements are what make up full autonomy run mode. So we're only going to show you the basic two things that the fully autonomous operational, operational system is built off of and to see additional features like auto stroke, build a bundle, live stream, the ability to view data in real time remotely from this operation. Those are the kind of things that Dan will be able to answer your detailed questions in depth inside. Good there? All right. Excellent. So now Dan just identified his boundaries, and I'm going to ask Dan to do one auto move for you. Auto move refers to that movement, three tubes over, perfectly on center. <clears throat> Go ahead, Dan. Back to the right. Excellent. Thank you. So that's one thing. With a click of a button, and if you could see on the controller, Dan's directing which way to index. Something that typically would have been done line of sight via an operator with a lot of inconsistencies and some considerable time in between actual cleaning. So now, second feature, Dan, would you show us an auto feed, please? Thank you, sir. Just like that, auto feed, using magnetic fields to pick up hose stops, mechanical hose stops, just like we have on other Lansing equipment. And same thing in the front, right in front of our anti-withdrawal collet to keep the lances from entering the tractor and exiting the rear. That's what's telling the machine when a stroke forward and reverse has been completed. So those two features make up full autonomy mode, and we're gonna go ahead and exit this barricaded zone. Sean's gonna get into position and we're going to fire this thing up and clean the bottom of this tube sheet in approximately three minutes.
Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Dan. So as you can see, we've completed that. And Dan's interface was nothing more past his input. So just monitoring the operation, free for other tasks. So we're going to quickly switch over to our second demonstration here now. What we want to show you here is a very unique application. All right, we're going to show you from the bottom up tube cleaning. All right, so a vertically oriented exchanger, this exchanger is temporarily facing towards you just for visual sake right now. So what we want to talk about is that application of cleaning from the bottom up. Cleaning from the bottom up features a couple things. It's a limited clearance job, it's a limited visibility job, and it's a limited safety job. In fact, it's so limited on safety that cleaning from the bottom up shall not be performed unless the use of an automated tool is present. So what that means is that within our industry best practices that we follow under the association, we're not even going to try to approach that manually. So therefore, this is an excellent application for this particular version. So what we have here is what we call the compass indexer. Uh, rather than using an X and Y axis, we're going to be using a single lance. And the reason for that is that we're using two separate axes. All right, we have a rotary and a linear tractor. So it's going to compound movements to move from tube to tube. This particular configuration has already been set up in the same manner that you watch Dan do on his controller view on that screen right there. So if you're able to direct your attention to this screen over here, Dan is going to scroll through some of the things that Sentinel Link, the live version and our software uh, platform, that's going to display data, data captured from the job. Again, details on that, Dan's going to go over with you inside. So what we're going to go ahead and do here, after Brian demonstrates the same thing we just did, an auto move and an auto feed, we're going to go ahead and run this in full autonomy mode once we've inverted it back to a bottom-up application. So, Brian, would you go ahead and give us an auto move, please? Thanks, Brian. So you notice both of those are working in compound to move in a linear fashion. Can we see an auto feed, Brian? Same sort of same exact uh, function happening with the sensors. So at this time, we're going to go ahead and invert this bundle, and Brian will go ahead and run this for us. So line of sight, not attainable, but not a problem. We'll go ahead and fire this up here.
Thank you all very much for your attention and attendance, and we'll see you at the next station.